Hi guys. Hi. Leo ni mko kwa rooftop. Oh, uh, actually guys, Leo ni the 31st of October. It's the last day of this month. Eh, kwacha tu mwezi ishe. Imenionyesha mambo. Guys, unaona hata macho zangu zimefura? Just from crying. Actually nimekujia nguo. I want to unhang them alafu nitende tukazi fold kwa nyumba as I talk to you guys. Lakini hii mwezi imenionyesha mambo. So, today is Leoni that is first. Apparently today is Halloween. No, no. Would you guys celebrate Halloween because Miss Jai celebrate but I would love to do so one day. But definitely see you later so. Maybe next year. Sitaki kuanza story moja. Wacha niende niamie nguo. But before that, wacha naonyeshe video hapa hapa kwa rooftop. If you follow me on on Instagram, I'm sure umeona umeona one of this this background picture yangu. Ya huko ni Mount. Asi Mount Kenya Hills. <laughs> This is actually glowing guys. I started using the products but bado bado sijamaliza a week. I wanted to review the products to you guys after a week. I have my my notebook here. Ju kuna some stuff nimeandika hapo I'll read to you guys. Tukaendelea na video. Ya ndo hizi nguo zangu ziko tu hapa. Nitaka kuweka ile sawa hapa chini ni fold nikiziweka hapo. Yeah, ju closet iko mbali kidogo. And that's why I'm facing this side. Ju nataka ku fold nguo tukiongea as we talk. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I I'm actually enjoying doing this this kind of YouTube videos. Sijui nitangu ni discover. Sita niike kitamba yangu karibu. Then tangu I discovered that the lighting ya hapa ni poor ama I just enjoy talking to you guys. So you guys can tell from the video's title I'm updating you guys on my mental health. Hey, aki October. October really drained me. Aki. How was October to you guys aki? Ju mimi I know I, I was trying to be consistent up on YouTube but mentally I was not I was not in the best place. So Jana <laughs> Jana I had my biggest mental breakdown of I think the year at a see the month. Yeah, throughout the month we were in several mental breakdowns but yeah Jana Hey, jana ilikuwa ile ile yenye niliambia Mungu aki I, I don't want sitaki kuishi hii life hii life ya kulianga tu kila time I just realized CZ multitask so let me just talk to you guys alafu nitakunja ngo baadaye So I was telling you guys Jana Jana this this person you person tamuita just as atumite to X <laughs> Person X is someone that I ni mtu tu na rank sana kwa maisha yangu and I, ako so close to me 
ile design ya i expect i expect person x that you could reveal the the nini the gender i expect person x to support me and encourage me in whatever i'm doing but as a jana i think aliona a uh, aliona link yangu kwa whatsapp status lafu si definitely aka aka nini aka click the link and it led them to watch my video so after i watch video yangu so you know hata sikuwa najua kama ame watch ju si si onangi mtu mwenye ame via just naonanga to the number of views iki ikipanda and maybe the likes sasa uki comment ndo i can know that you watched but sasa yeye aku comment so the person comes to my whatsapp and any text venya no ali checka yeah ali reply from sasa hiyo link aki checka alafu akasema some mean words no alikuwa zile za ni nini hii unafanya like what do you think you're doing this youtube thing is not your thing just focus kwa masomo na wachane na mambo ya content creation Ya yeah, mimi hata hiyo 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 kuongea haikuni haikuni umiza sana actually ni bo ni wa, mbona acheke like ange nyamaze ange watch na anyamaze ama tu ange watch mimi sikumforce ku watch so yeah that that really ilifanya nianze ku doubt with my instagram instagram side of content creation but again nikakumbuka kuna watu wenye they support me here and that's why I keep doing whatever I'm doing. I don't do it for for people who don't support me. So leo asubuhi yeah that that hiyo kitu by the way ilifanya jana I I think ilikuja tu na feelings zangu zote zenye nimekuwa nikifungia the whole month and I cried for like 5 hours bila bila kuacha kulia hadi nikaanza kumuona kitu. Actually niliosha hizi nguo jana I was supposed nilizosha asubuhi I was supposed to go and hang them in the evening and left me fold but yeah the breakdown really happened June so I didn't manage to I didn't manage to go and nini go and hang them so last subway I woke up nika yeah squeezy I when I wake up I nini na washanga incense then I listen to some motivational speakers as maybe I prepare breakfast ama nikikula most of the times na kulanga leftover ya usiku na strong tea yeah so leo nimeanka i had breakfast as i was listening to motivational speak leo nimekuwa nikisikiza sara jakes i don't know if you guys know her and she really spoke to me anaongea vitu mob and some of them nimeandika hapa i'll i'll read to you guys then after that ndo sasa nikaendea nguo sasa hivi atasa isha afika 12 ya ni 12:30 sasa kata nitakula lunch ama nitajui kuna i'm hosting someone and before i even read to you guys i just realized by the way mimi i i can't siezi ishi na mtu ju my my type of ocd ni lenye i'm so organized to a level of i can't handle a disorganized person i ex, i expect ukikuja ukikuja place naishi na upate nimepanga vitu a certain way ama upate i do things in a certain way i expect you to follow to follow your routine na unanga it's, it's so common sense it's a common sense yenye you just don't come at it urushe nguo chafu sijui hapo juu unaona it's empty na unaona kuna place ya kurusha nguo chafu <sighs> sitaki hata ku get into that acha tu niongelee story ya mental jumi hiyo kitu ina niboingi by the way i just nime realize i i can only live naizeshi tu vizuri kwa space yangu pekee ama i can only live with someone mwenye atakoparate to my 
to me being organized kama mwenye tu ataelewa ju one thing about what you call OCD they watakuwa upset by your disorganized behavior and they won't tell you they'll have to do it by themselves na watu wanaonanga ni kama tunabambika ku organize which actually we get tunachokanga ju siwezi siwezi kufanyia kitu kitu moja mara tatu like i expect you kama nimekufanyia mara ya kwanza at least mara ya pili one she did that so she expects that to be done and as i'm getting into that story so anyway this is what i came across today leo subuhi nitawasamea tu zote alafu i just knew a pair to cap this kidogo alafu i think to my video ju stuck it with ref when i need to fold this in go sims since i can't multitask <laughs> so yeah don't expect people to understand your grind when god didn't give them your vision yes story huyo mtu mwenye alikuwa ananiambia story ya niachane na youtube and i focus on studies actually siku, i didn't respond to them niliwacha tu nili I, i ignored them sasa ndo nikaanza kulia alafu leo asubuhi i was like i nilifanya by the way siku wajibu juu if i responded to them if i did respond to them hiyo ingewapea more room to criticize me and ingeni ingeni aka chini more than where i am So yeah this quote you can say don't expect people to understand your grind when god didn't give them your vision So last window ni me realize uh, when i expected this this person person x to understand whatever i am doing yet vision mimi ndo nilipewa na Mungu si yeye alipewa So like i'm supposed to work on whatever i'm doing alafu yeye mwenyewe ndo ata realize that god has been working has been working on me ama ni ini ya yeah, god has been working on me yeah i'm the one who's supposed to put in, in the work and i see yeah, yeah like it doesn't matter if the person supports me or doesn't does support me or doesn't support me what really matters is me being there for myself and putting in the work and trusting in god so yeah alafu after that there were kulikuwa na some prayers and i wrote the prayers down the first prayer ni a prayer for when you have been through a lot i told you guys october october like i can't even explain what really happened to in october but ili nieka chini like mentally mentally october ili nimaliza like i just feel like see see like vitu zili happen hiyo month vitu most of zili happen before october but zili zili ni hit october so like october ndo nime realize the way i've been through a lot in 2022 and yeah so here is a prayer for when you've been through a lot and this prayer really it was just speaking to me and i want to share you guys i want to share the prayer with you guys so yeah hey god Lately life has been a lot. If it's not one thing, it's another. And if I'm honest, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I want to believe that it gets better, but I'm doing all I can do to just hold on. Please teach me how to go through things and not allow them to go through me. I can't allow what happened to me to determine my path. I know that not everything in life that happens to me will be good but I do believe you can turn any situation around for good and your glory. So please give me the strength to keep going and I'll meet you at the places we talk about. Yeah, so that's that's my first my first the first prayer that I came across leo asubuhi. And the part that really spoke to me kwanza ni hiyo part ya I know that not everything in life that happens to me will be good. Definitely life lazima ikuange na good things, na bad things. Lazima kuwe na supporters, na haters. Yeah, life tuni ups and downs. Ni ma ups na ma downs. Ni kama movie. Yeah, life is like a movie by the lazima kuwe na ups and downs. 
So I know that not everything in life that happens to me will be good, but I do believe you can turn any situation around for good and your glory. Yeah, honestly, when you believe in God, akuna kitu impossible kwa Mungu waki. Hata siamini ni mimi nasema hivi, but there's nothing impossible in God. God will make sure, okay, initially, nilikuwa ule mtuma, I'll do something to prove others wrong, ama to prove myself wrong, but imefika point yenye, nimeambia tu mungu anipe yo peace of mind yenye, I'm doing something to show people venye, God can really, to just show people God's glory working through me. Sidi kama mnailewa, like I don't want to to be better in life to prove others wrong or to prove myself wrong i want to be better in life to portray god's glory in whatever i'm doing i think that's how that makes sense yeah and i'll uh, so please give me the strength to keep going so that was my first prayer and yeah it it was ilifanya ni feel better Although you can have some emotions, but the guys I was nemelia asubui when I was writing these prayers, you can have So I was relating to each and every word. Alafu sayendo the emotions is you can have. Say say I'm quite na na feel kushad kushad tears, but I think nemelia kila kitu I've cried like nemel exhaust. So yeah, the next prayer is. A prayer for the times you need a breakthrough. <sighs> hey God, I know you see this situation I'm going through. I can't let this break me. I need you to make a way. I know you can make a way. For all things are possible with you. So no matter what happens, I know with you everything will be okay. I won't let my doubt outwork my faith in you. Help me to see myself the way that you see me. If you called me to eat, then you, you will see me through it. <sighs> I choose to believe your words over mine and those of other people. People have opinions, but you have dominion. I can't always see you working, but I trust that you're working everything out. So I'm going to keep working. So you be God and I'll be obedient and I'll see you on the other side of this. Wow. Honestly, I don't think kuna kitu ya ku explain kwa your prayer. Imejiongea tu yenyewe. So yeah, to, uh, the last the last part <laughs> of everything that I wrote here. Ndo sasa tumalizie the video by the imagine ni 13 minutes already kwani nimekuwa nikiongea nini Yeah so God help me to see people through your eyes and not my insecurities pain or trauma God I forgive them Imagine I forgive them ju I really can't even explain it Jana when I was praying and crying throughout the whole thing, niliambia tu Mungu anipe tu peace. Like peace is everything that I need to do whatever I'm doing. And anisaidia tu ku accept whatever whatever is happening and whatever is yet to come. Yeah, and leo sibi nilikuwa nasikiza Sarah Jakes. I told you guys, sibi kama mnajua Sarah Jakes. Ni she's the daughter to Bishop Tide Tide TDJX, yeah, you guys, I'm sure I'm not job Bishop TDJX. With this black man, and I, and I preach in here as a, he's a, he's a bishop, I call, I call on YouTube. You just go search him on YouTube and just listen to one of his preachings and it happened. So I was listening to her Leah Subui and I'll go on the Mamba breakthrough. And I'll go on for before you even ask for a breakthrough just make sure you're in a place to receive for whatever to receive whatever you're asking so, ndo sasa alikuwa anaongelea stuff ya 
peace of mind and everything before you ask for blessings make sure you you're in a place to handle whatever comes with the blessings before you you receive blessings lazima you have to go this it's it's like a stretch nikama your mind is being prepared for whatever is coming and i was really nearly relate na yaju before i was asking god for all this social media growth and everything nilikuwa najua kutafika kutafika two time enye i'll get negative comments and um, yeah he life lazima tu lazima ukwe na some negative people in your life ni venye tu i didn't expect it could from someone that close honestly nya hii maisha hii maisha expectations eka zero expectations eka zero do imagine it's the people that it's the strangers in your life that will truly support you but the people that you think ati wataku support wa ku encourage wataku support si kwenye you know utakuwa a big person ndo utakuwa nasema oh i know so and so sijui we were friends we used to school together she was sijui nini but say when you're growing no one wants to be associated with you like hata wakisikia mtu akikutaja huko huko nje like maybe wasema i watch her videos i I like her content on Instagram. Hawata hawata iongelea like when you wanna fawa iongelea as your friends. But yeah, I think nimekuja to accept ni life. Imagine it's life. But hey guys, mimi October imenimaliza and anyway, thank God after your mental breakdown, I I at least feel refreshed and uh, I really hope November brings more blessings even better things you know i just hope november will be good mentally kwanza mentally i just want to have a mental a stable mental state the last two months of the year jupia december inafika and mimi i hate holidays guys i hate holidays ju the fact that at you have to go be with your family see at i hate my family but i just being i just hate being there do we don't literally celebrate na being there ni kama tu na ni torture mentally so hata sijui kan taenda home but you tutafikiria before december ifike i really just hope that hope and pray that november will be better mentally and yeah so hey guys my skin is glowing ham niambi najua kuna mtu anajiuliza mbona nimevaa kofia kwa nyumba I'm actually saving you from seeing a lot kwa hiki kichwa. Jana time nilikuwa na mental breakdown by the karibu niende kwa kinyozi ya ninyewe. Ile nyenye pia sikuwa na pesa ya kinyozi but trust me if I had that money ningeenda ninyoleo it was nilikuwa nimefika ile point ya I'm deal I'm going through a lot in my life na staki nywele ikuwe one of them. Like I can just cut it. Na stress ya nywele initoke. But yeah, leo asubuhi nime, imefika, nika cool down. But it really needs to be undone before nifikirie kwenda kwa kinyozi tena. Jumii na nichosha. Sasa so, sijui nani hata nitoa. Kama tu niende ki, eh lakini watu wa salon ni I don't trust them. Kwanza ni weave anaweza nikata nywele. Like I, I want one of my friends ndo anitoe, but sasa wako mbali na sijui tutaona na lini. I'm I just didn't courage na ni kate kate. I don't know but I hope in the next video sitakuwa na nywele yake. Yeah, so that was it guys. What a sign of old nguo. Then I'll see you in the next video. Actually this was so random. I had not planned for it. Ni venye tu I just felt like I needed to talk. And when najua ime nime after kulia imenitoka but I nearly feel too like I just needed to share with you guys. Yeah, ju. You know, it was just eye opening after the whole the whole thing. And yeah, I just want it to be here on my channel and you know, when I grow which, which I know it's coming when I when I I am big. 
when sasa hao watu wenye wanani wanani trash talk say hiyo time watakuja ku pretend the way they supported me and all that hiyo hii video itakuwa tu hapa not to prove them wrong but just to remind me of his siku you know you have to go through this to get to that big place yeah and i'm really hoping for that breakthrough i believe in god i trust in him najua he's he's doing his part so that's why i'm still doing my part i'm not giving up yeah so nyi muendelee kuongea and to my supporters i really love you i'll keep doing this for you yeah to patane the other side of this so see you in the next video bye and thanks for watching yeah remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed yeah and i pray that your mental health gets better i really pray that it gets better and do whatever makes you happy guys don't do something because someone said at you're not good at that do this i i i don't know how to explain this but don't 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 entertain people doing something that you don't like don't